Close Hints. I'm Lamont Mackey. And we're the Cooking Ladies. And today we are looking at you beef lovers out there. We are doing beef kebabs. We've done a lot of versions of this recipe, but this is the one we really like. This is wonderful. This is a great marinade. We made this one up Let's... a long time ago and we've been using it for years. Yes, and I think one of the key ingredients okay. is the cider vinegar. That is. Cider vinegar. Put it in here. Okay. Canola oil. Canola or your oil. favorite vegetable oil. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? <laughs> she just about got Almost it that got it. time. Almost. Okay. A little bit of chopped garlic. Chopped garlic. And this recipe is on our website, so if we don't tell you quantities, don't yeah. worry. Okay. Yes. And red pepper flakes for red a little Red pepper zing. flakes. Just a little bit of those. Now another, I think, or more, if another you like more. major influence on the flavor mm -hmm. is dried basil. Dried basil. Okay. There we go. All right. And the old standby, a little bit of salt, a little, a little bit, bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. It is a marinade after all. A little bit of pepper. Okay. I'm going to stir that up with my little crusty little spatula. spatula. I'm going to stir it up and then the easiest way to marinate we find is if you put it in a baggie. So we have the meat in a baggie and we're going to put this on top of it. We're just going to pour it on there. We do. Okay, there we go. And I'll just put it over here. So I'm going to open it up. There. So this is the best way. Because, so I'll just pour it in there like that. It's so much easier. There. Thank and you. then what you do is zip it closed very tightly. Make and get you can get some of that air out of there first, like and then zip it. Make sure it's well sealed. And then you can massage that beef a little bit like that. And then you put it in your refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours and turn it once in a while, give it a little pat so it knows that you love it. And you know, we don't always trust those bags, so we tend to put it in a bowl or yes. on a platter as well. Well, yeah, we do that just in case. But that's okay. that's a good way to do it. It doesn't take us lot up a lot of room in your refrigerator. Okay. And I just splashed some, so see that it leaked a little bit. Okay, so, trade now, off here. Okay, now we have some that we've already marinated, and we're going to show you how to put them on the skewers. Now, if you have metal skewers, it solves the problem. If you don't have metal skewers, use the wooden skewers, but you have to soak them. You have to soak them at least a half an hour to an hour or overnight. I'm so ready to show them. I'm going okay, yeah, to show them. Anyway. Come over here and yeah, show yeah, them yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. Now, what we do is soak them in water. This kind of jug is perfect for we have extra long skewers. That's what Phyllis is going to use. Yeah. It's been soaking for yeah. 24 hours. Now, like these jugs are tall, so you can just put some water in, turn them on their side and shake them around overnight or whatever and get them nice and wet because they will burn for sure. So then I just put them there and like that and make a little bit of space. If you see what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put a little bit of space between them because then they cook in between. If you put them too tight, uh, then they, they have a hard time cooking. So I'm just putting them on there like that, which is a little bit of space. Now, if you want, you can always put some mushrooms or something in between there. But, uh, but this we is like, for beef lovers. This, this is, is for beef lovers. This, this, the, is this is the beef day. Meat lovers there. And that's what it looks like. And then we can put it on the grill. Now, we uh, we just happen to have some on here. We want you to see the final product here. This is and just this gorgeous. Is, wow. This is wonderful. And I'm just going to get those off this hot grill. They're, oh, they're I, wonderful ooh, there. Can't wait they? to get at this. Look at those. Yes. They are gorgeous. They are Excellent. Taste so good. Excellent. And I'm going to put this on because there's just one for in case we're still hungry once we eat those. All right. And close it. And then you, I we just, hold this. we're just going to cook it on about you know medium to medium high. And then maybe 10 minutes, you know, five minutes on each side. If you like it rare, don't do it quite that long. If you like it more done, a little longer. But uh, just test it periodically. Do you want to eat this? Yeah, no, no, but I want like to hold this. it. I want to hold it for the camera. Like, a, like, All right. like the caveman, yeah. right? Yeah. Like this, that, is, right? this is very okay. impressive. It's a wonderful color. It, it is. Excellent. It is joy. Yes. 